Atlas and Peabody may have a deeper connection than we think, but hopefully not as deep as this Reddit user thinks and fantasizes about. Ah, uh, today we will not be talking about tops and bottoms, big spoons and little spoons, or any of that sinful nature about two frickin' robots. Come on, dude. Have some class. But who knows, maybe GLaDOS's next project might get into some weird type of testing soon. So Jura P, don't get your hopes up yet. The Portal 2 co-op features two playable characters, Atlas and Peabody, or how I like to remember it, Blue Short Dude and Orange Lanky Gal. Following Shell getting exiled from Aperture Laboratories in the single player mode, GLaDOS starts to test on these two mechanical marvels and puts them through many courses and experiments where they have to solve the puzzles together using the power of friendship. Now, this is secretly one of GLaDOS's elaborate plots to further her access over the entire Aperture Science Facility, but we won't talk about that today. Friendship. The game is impossible without this, as you must work with one another to complete the testing tracks, and it turns out to be a pretty fun puzzle game experience with a friend. <laughs> okay, okay, it's gonna work. It's gonna work so perfectly. It's facing the fuck over now. It's facing. What the fuck is wrong with this thing? <laughs> But while playing, it sort of feels like you're third-wheeling a romantical adventure between the two robots. Like their tension sort of engulfs you into their world, and you lose a sense of your confidence, while you let them laugh and play together. <laughs> now during these tests, GLaDOS keeps on trying to drive these two lovebirds apart, but it's impossible. She holds no power over the love they hold, and she fails every single time. She concludes that they simply lack the capacity to betray each other, proving how their trust in each other holds firm, despite GLaDOS's evil efforts. Now what proves that these two are even meant for each other? I mean, aren't they just robots after all? Well, not exactly. They are made out of personality cores, which give Aperture robots human-like characteristics, such as morality, curiosity, intelligence, anger, and even the ability to shoot rockets. Now, our friends Atlas and Peabody don't have all of these cores, but they have modified versions of them which allow them to learn from their experiences and even display human-like traits. These personalities develop during the course of the test and the game, and they have a spectrum of simple to complex human behaviors. There was a seven-question test developed by Aperture Science called the Aperture Science Collaborative Disposition Test, which was made to determine test subject compatibility for cooperative testing initiatives. Atlas and Peabody took this test, and their test results give us a deeper insight of their intense relationship. First, I'm going to read you this test, as apparently it was categorized unsafe by Aperture later on, because every test subject who took the test became immediately insane from having too many unassailable truths and personal secrets about themselves revealed at once, which I find to be weird, considering some of the folks who took it were Chell, the Weighted Companion Cube, and GLaDOS, which I guess makes sense actually in her case. Now the test went like this. Number 1. What color do you wish your eyes were? Amber? Blue, brown, gray, green, hazel, red, or black? Now this is already a weird question, because why are you asking what color do you wish your eyes were, like this is something you can change? Number 2. Do you appear well educated to others? Yes or no? Another weird question. How do you know if you appear well educated to others, like this test was designed to lower your self esteem, or for you to have an existential crisis? 3. Are they wrong? Yes or no? 4. Check all those who you feel superior to. Olympians, policemen, parents, war heroes, philosophers, astronauts, scientists, CEOs, no one. I guess this one's just checking if you have a superiority complex or not, or otherwise a really big ego. 5. Are you currently being observed? Yes, no, or not sure? This one is just downright creepy. 6. Have you ever sued a scientific corporation for an injury you received? Yes, no, or an injury prevents me from remembering? Now this is a spooky question coming from a scientific corporation itself, but whatever. 7. If you could remove one constraint on business today, which one would it be? Occupational safety rules, environmental protection restrictions, consumer safety, or all of the above? Now these questions do seem unperceivable and even downright evil. Which I get, as Aperture also buried the test in a locked strong box in a secure abandoned sub-basement full of cement with a doorway bricked over. So maybe they also came to their senses about the test. But now, for the results. Atlas received, you're brave and up for anything, 
you like adventure, and nothing scares you. You value friendship highly. Your ideal cooperative partner will be inquisitive and sensitive. And Peabody received the result. Inquisitive, sensitive, you analyze situations and approach problems with care. You value friendship highly. Your ideal cooperative partner would be brave and up for anything. It's interesting how the result in this seemingly impossible test still brought their personalities together and showed proof that they are the most compatible and ideal cooperative partners for each other. As Atlas needs someone who's inquisitive and sensitive, and Peabody needs someone who's brave and up for anything. They're like a match made in heaven, perfect for each other. However, maybe this test isn't so accurate, as the end of the Portal 2 co-op trailer really shows how they value their friendship, wacky humor, and love for each other above the personality traits the test gave them. Other behaviors that show their ever-growing personalities include their chatter to each other, <laughs> laughing, playing rock, paper, scissors, and occasionally ripping each other's heads off. So now we're here, celebrating the 11th Valentine's Day anniversary of Atlas and Peabody. And I happen to receive news that Atlas has a gift for Peabody, and received insider live video from GLaDOS herself to see the whole thing unfold through Atlas's eyes. She even unblocked the neural connection pathways and translated it into English for us to hear. Listen in. Peabody, can you believe it's been 11 years since we first met? Time flies when you were in love, Atlas. Indeed. Remember our first mission together, it feels like just yesterday. How could I forget? It was the beginning of our incredible journey together. I have a surprise for you. Peabody? A surprise? What is it? Follow me. At last, this is beautiful. I wanted to capture every precious moment we've shared over the years. Our adventures, our loss, our bond, it's all here. Peabody, you mean everything to me. Every day with you is an adventure, and I wouldn't want to spend it with anyone else. Atlas, I feel the same way. You are my partner, my confidant, my everything. I love you more than words can express. Wow, wasn't that just beautiful? Thank you again to GLaDOS for that insider footage. No problem, Mr. Stowicki. Although, I don't think the Portal fandom will accept that as canon since it's so beautiful and romantic, and maybe a little bit fan-made. But... Can this love and friendship be inferred to relate to something more real? From the moment players assume control of these robots, they become conduits for their intentions, desires, and strategies. Every movement, gesture, and decision made by Atlas and Peabody reflects the agency of the players manipulating them. In this sense, the robots serve as extensions of the player's will, blurring the boundary between the self and the virtual avatar. The collaborative nature of Portal 2's cooperative gameplay adds another layer of complexity to the relationship between players and their robotic avatars. As players navigate through these increasingly intricate puzzles, they must communicate, coordinate, and synchronize their actions with their partner to progress. Here, Atlas and Peabody cease to exist merely as individual entities, but instead become manifestations of the player's collective thinking. Their movements and interactions embody the connection and synergy established between these players, reflecting the naturality of human collaboration in the game. Yet despite their instrumental role in facilitating player cooperation, Atlas and Peabody remain fundamentally artificial entities within the game's narrative framework. They lack autonomy, consciousness, and subjective experiences of their own, 
existing solely as tools for the player's amusement and advancement. This begs the question, does GLaDOS have a sort of a fourth wall approach to the game, just as the Vortigons do in Half-Life, where she knows about the robots she created are being controlled by separate entities, those separate entities being us? And if she does know, is she acting like she doesn't so she can inconspicuously test on humans without the use of the actual human body? There is some evidence of her breaking the fourth wall precisely when she threatens to destroy your backup while you were trying to defeat her in Portal 1. We know that Atlas and Peabody, despite being her most loyal test subjects, don't satisfy her in the way humans do. She loves testing on humans, as human fear provides her with an endless source of satisfaction, which is a little sick in my opinion, but to each their own. So maybe this was able to feed her a little bit of that satisfaction due to the fact that she knew these robots were being controlled by you and shared some human intuition before eventually leading Peabody and Atlas to release all the human test subjects who were stuck in stasis at the end of the main co-op campaign. Alright, let's cut to the chase. We've spent some quality time exploring the depths of Aperture Laboratories, unraveling the mysteries of Atlas and Peabody's relationship, and diving headfirst into the chaos of GLaDOS's schemes. But now it's time to talk about the real heart of the matter, the perfect love story between these two robotic heroes. You see, Atlas and Peabody aren't just your average co-op partners, they're more than just a couple of robots solving puzzles together. They're a symbol of friendship, loyalty, and yes, even love. Throughout their journey, we've seen them laugh together, support each other, and face down every obstacle that GLaDOS throws in their way, together. And that's what makes this story so darn special. It's not about grand gestures or epic romances, it's about the little moments, the shared experiences, and the unspoken bond that forms between the two unlikely heroes. It's about finding solace and companionship in the most unexpected of places, even if that place happens to be a dilapidated science facility run by a manacle AI. Sure, GLaDOS may try to tear them apart, throwing obstacles in their path and taunting them with her snarky remarks, but at the end of the day, nothing can break the bond between Atlas and Peabody. Their love is stronger than any test chamber, any obstacle, or any AI's evil scheme. As players, we've had the privilege of witnessing their journey guiding them through the trials and tribulations of Aperture Laboratories, and in doing so, we've come to appreciate the true power of friendship and love, even in the most unlikely of places. So here's to Alice and Peabody, the perfect love story in the world of Portal. Maybe you can even share some of this love when you played the game with your friend on the other side of the Discord call. No matter what, may their adventures inspire us to cherish the connections we forge and the bonds we share both virtually and beyond. And who knows, maybe one day we'll all find our own Atlas or Peabody, someone to laugh with, to support us, and to navigate the crazy journey of life together. I know I'm personally spending Valentine's Day alone, and maybe that's the same case with some of you, which is all okay. So let's just cherish Atlas and Peabody, and give them our thanks for the beautiful memories. In conclusion, as we bid farewell to the intertwined destinies of Atlas and Peabody within the confines of Aperture Laboratories, we're left pondering the deeper implications of their journey. From their initial encounter to their triumphant reunion on the 11th Valentine's Day anniversary, every moment shared between these two robotic heroes is laden with significance. Through their adventures, we're not just spectators, but active participants in a narrative that challenges our perceptions of friendship and love in the digital realm. As GLaDOS's schemes test their resolve, we're reminded of the intricate web of lore that underpins their existence. From the origins of the personality cores to their elusive nature of their consciousness, Yet amid their uncertainty, one thing remains undeniable. The bond between Atlas and Peabody transcends the boundaries of mere programming, serving as a beacon of hope and a resilience in a world shrouded in darkness. Their story, with its twists and turns, its moments of laughter and tears, leaves a lasting impression on the history of gaming, inviting us to delve deeper into the mysteries of Aperture Laboratories and the enigmatic souls of its robotic inhabitants. So here's to Atlas and Peabody the unsung heroes of the Portal universe, whose legacy will continue to inspire generations of players to come. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the intricate lore of Atlas and Peabody's adventures in Aperture Laboratories. If you enjoyed this exploration of Portal's hidden depths, please consider subscribing for more content like this. Don't forget to leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring, keep gaming, and keep the spirit of Atlas and Peabody alive in your adventures. Mr. Stowicki out.